Mo. You're always looking to come inside. It's a beautiful day. Behold, the garage of wonders, the garage of everything you could ever think is in there. It's here. I got everything you need. It's all you need. Got a screw, bolt, nut, saw. Maybe. Why don't you go up there now? Oh, Richmond. Richmond DTN. And I guarantee you, some of you already probably have an idea of what the motor is. We got some pretty bad shadows here. Alright. There's the Apache. Apache. Chevy Apache. That is what this is going into. Now, send it to an engine builder. He did a great job. Goodwood Motors down there in Temecula, California. Uh, and he put the... It's a 10-spline clutch. Back in. It had gone down there with a 26-spline because that's what was in the truck before. But... Got this thing, one of those center force dual friction. You can tell the pattern is different on each side. Flywheel side, clutch plate side. And uh, the good folks at Summit helped me with this. guided me in the right direction, I should say, and then gave me all the options, and I was like, you know what, the, the original one had just basic plain Jane clutch, I still have that clutch, but we're going to try this one, see how it goes. 
So, what we got is we got a clutch fork here that kind of stays in the bell housing, but it gets attached uh, via this ball socket here. <clears throat> and bolts to the inside of the bell housing. But you're supposed to pop it off. See that recess right here? You're supposed to pop it out of this, pry it out with a flathead screwdriver, and then kind of set it back against the back of the bell housing, as far back as you can go. And I got a little concrete rebar tie wire right there to hold it back. Now, what I gotta do is get the clutch plate. Plate. Throw them back in. Pretty heavy. Nothing, nothing to be, nothing uh, to be handled with, you know, handled with caution for sure. Don't drop them on your feet. And I'm wearing sandies. Or like a big toe. Kind of hangs up a little bit once in a while. Bite you. Ooh, can't forget the clutch alignment tool. This is the spline tool, and of course, I got someone calling me. Ryan, what it do to me? Oh, I'm just I'm at the house right now. I'm about to uh, throw the new clutch plate and clutch gear to the floor. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. No, they, they gave me my original clutch plate back, or clutch disc, and that was like a 10 spline count. And then they gave, I had, my Richmond T10 is a 26. So I had, I had to get the, the new 26. And I went on a little, I went a little more pricey on the clutch plate, plate, the clutch disc. I went, I don't know, like a, what do they call it, a dual friction technology, where it's got like ceramic on one side, and then like a regular organic material on the other side, so I'm kind of interested to see how it'll lock up. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I might get a little... No, not at all. You of all people, you know. No. But what's the good word, brother? So, I'm a the roofing. How much you got left? Well, I got one full 18 footer. I want it back. I know you do. That's why I'm letting you know. And I got the two. You have some two by six by sixteens, I believe. I have those as well. Uh, I want them. Well, I plan on going to Arnold because, you know, I'm going to take that big old air tank. I'm probably going to take it to Arnold and just dump it on the property so I could play with it another day and have it be out of this area. So I'll take the two bikes. I'll come by and 
I don't know when I'm going. I think I'm going to Seattle this weekend. So, I'll... You're going where? Seattle this weekend. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to see the parents, the in-laws. The future in-laws. Oh, is that... Oh, just say Washington. That'd make more sense. Seattle, oh my, can I? Seattle, bro. Come on, bro. My other, my other half's from 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 Sea Town, where they got the Sky Chickens, huh? Oh, Sky. No, no, no. He's he's actually going to Seattle. Yeah. That's what I said. He's going to Seattle this week. Going to Washington this weekend. Yeah. How you doing, Ryan? I like Washington, man. I moved to Washington. I could. No, you wouldn't. No, no, you wouldn't. Your wife, your you wife, guys, will, you, you guys are, you guys, you, no, you guys are stuck down here. I can tell. Your wife will kill you. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, if I could. Yeah. Uh, with global warming, it's gonna be nice up there in another ten years. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be tropic paradise. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We gotta look ahead. Yeah, I hear you on that. That's that's a right, right? well, hey, When are you looking? Go. When are you looking to get rid of these things? Can you hang on to him for a little bit? Yeah, like, maybe a week, two weeks? I'm, I'm just letting you know I'm done, that's all. Sweet. And you can assure Giovanna that I will be picking that up because I want them. You want to hear what you made me do? What? Where'd you put it? So, so I spent a whole week hacking it up all the right sizes to put on Hudson's board. Yeah? Get ready to start hanging it all, get it all dialed in, start looking down like fucking meant to be. Yeah. She calls me up and he goes, that is hideous. You are not putting that up. You need to take it all down. I don't want that. Down there. Uh, after I spent a whole weekend just cutting the shit up. It's she, not easy to cut. Oh, no, 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 no. That is, that is unreal. So, unreal. Like, are you kidding me? Like, That's I my mother, dude. For like a week before, she didn't say nothing. It's like, you, didn't, you had no problem with it last weekend. Yeah, you couldn't picture well, it in your mind then. You have to wait to see it so that, I could get ready. Like, right. You couldn't wait until the first piece was up to say you didn't like it. You had to wait until the whole thing was done then tell me you didn't like it. Oh, she is too much. I would have put my so, foot down, Ryan. Well, Hudson went in there, because then Hudson found out that his board, I was taking the metal off his board. He wants his board to be strong. And Nick gave him that metal that was really strong. Ah. So he went in there and, and he went in and put her in the place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, boy. Nick gave him the metal, and the metal's really strong, and he wants his board to be really bulletproof. Bulletproof, yes. He knows what's up. I love that. I love that story. <laughs> I gotta talk to him about it. Yeah, he, he, yeah he'll know. <laughs> He's hey, gonna you know. know. Uh, I gotta stop by your house later, Steve. Danny, and pick up something. From, I'll see uh, you. I'll see four you four in four. the in the driveway, player. It's at four later. Wait. What do you do? Why did Hudson go? And then he went inside the house. Okay. Uh, I said he wants the metal on the floor. <laughs> All right, no talking. No talking. We're gonna figure it out. I gotta try to put like a fucking. I'm not worried about him. He's, he's quiet. I gotta figure out how to do this like successfully. That's you called me. Dang it. Dude, when it rains, it pours. Reasons. Chris, how's it going? It's Nick. I'm sorry, I didn't read the voicemail, but I'm kind of tight up at work still. If I could pay for it on the phone like I've done before, if I have an extra key, if you spot the key in it, I'll just go pick it up and disappear. No, no, I got time. I'm ready. That's why I closed the bag. I ran out of the room. <laughs> what, what, what's the damage? Sir, that 
That sounds amazing. Yeah, oh, good. Perfect. Uh, four, four, six, five. Four, zero, zero. it. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Bye-bye. What's he doing? Uh, right, these, these gloves don't have... No, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. Where it is. Okay. He's been recording. I needed to place the camera. The sunlight's good right now. I'm thinking. Right now. I am, yeah. Are you sure that's recording? Yeah, 16 minutes. It's got a 120 gigabyte card in it. Big boy. Doing fool? Come on. No, just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave no, it. I don't. I yeah, but I'm. I'll, they'll see the most important part. Me getting it in isn't important. I need to keep it. No, come on. Come on. Come on. If I'm gonna fail at this, it's gonna be my fault, not your fault.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy, you gotta be strong, son. That ain't no joke. Here we go. I don't think I have the right. <sighs> I never tried it. Seems right, it just didn't seem like it was going in. That engage that time. There we go. That's what I'm talking Alright. 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 <sighs> Excuse my huffing and puffing. Whew. A little heavy. But the way it was situated, I had to put it in. Uh, flywheel slide up, slide it through, pull it up through the pallet. And then I thought this pilot. losing me. The clutch alignment tool wasn't going into the pilot hole and I just didn't feel it engage. So I pulled it out. Second time went in. Got this bottom bolt in. Now I gotta just kind of start it. Go to the next hole and then get at least two in and then I can begin torquing this thing down. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Call Matthew on speakerphone. Calling Matthew, mobile on speaker. Oh, she's good. She's good, but she nailed it. Hey, do you have Dad's torque wrench? Yeah. Is it at the house? Is it readily available? I think it's in the back of my truck. Yeah, come get it. The back of your truck? Yeah, it's in the it's in the toolbox in my truck. Oh, y'all that. Where you at? I'm putting the new clutch in. You come on? Come I'm putting it. the new clutch in and I'm trying to get I'm gonna have to torque everything down. I'll be over. I'll be over to come and grab it. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Make sure you hang up. I'm on speakerphone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh Jesus. She doesn't want to cooperate. So I got it. I got it. Is it in? Yes, it's in. All right. Now I gotta get my tool and turn it.
go. Gotta make sure you get at least a quarter of a turn. Not a third, and you can get you can get another one in at least. All right, hang on now. bite on that. No way. It just doesn't look like it's supposed to go in that hole. That's what's frustrating to me. I don't feel like I see a thread. Then there is a thread. And then it goes in. It sucks in. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. We're on. If she falls apart, at least I know how to put it back together, right? Steve told me about this company, Clifford Performance. Like, geez. When I was 15, so we're talking 15 years ago. And then, you know, I knew I had this truck back home with a Chevy 235. That's what it is, Chevy 235. If y'all are wondering, there it is. And you got time for it. I tell you, you need to do it, you know, get it done. And the slogan on the website then was Clifford Performance 6 equals 8. And I was just like, no way. What do you mean? 
and I was blown away by number one the pictures of trucks on the website. It was an older website. It's not you know updated. It's not very current. But called the guy, called the number. And what do you know? They're in business. Order a bunch of parts.